for the police officer from Connecticut. He's looking for his first World's Strongest Man title. I think in the U.S. has a, has a huge amount of advantage because it's a, a hometown crowd in, in some ways. I, I've talked to some people on the street and they're like, okay, you're the guy to root for if it's because I'm a cop or because I'm from the East Coast or, or just because I'm American. I think uh, people like a hometown sort of hero. I was a big favorite going into 2009. Um, and a lot of talk about 2010, and, and this year a lot of people aren't talking about me. I like it that way. There's low expectations. I think what this year I've done different is went back to the roots of my training. I'm not heavy like I was last year or, or in 2009. I'm back to a more svelte uh, <laughs> body weight and uh, a little better shape. Every year my goal for World's Strongest Man is the same. I, I want to win that, the coveted title. I've, I've won every title in the sport thus far. The one that eludes me and I've come very close is, is World's Strongest Man. So here we go with the final competitor. This is 29-year-old Derek Poundstone, and Philly says he's spelt at 6'1", 340 pounds for the police officer from Waterbury, Connecticut. He actually is a little leaner and has a different look and is probably in a heck of a lot better shape this year. Maybe the best shape of his life. So here we go, 245 pounds, no problem for Derek Poundstone. Now he's on to 265. You know, Derek loves to talk the talk, but he actually can really walk the walk. And his wife Kristen in the audience cheering him on, so now he's on to the fourth and final one. If he can get this, he will win this event. He knows he's had a fantastic time with the first three, and he can afford to really slow down, collect his strength, and be the only one man enough to put the big 330 overhead. 330 pounds for Derek Poundstone. Down. He got it. And what a great lockout. Did you see the way he just held it there? Leaving no doubt. Power, control, ability. Poundstone put it all together. So as the only man to lift all four blocks, Derek Poundstone was victorious in the metal block press and more importantly qualified for his fourth straight final. Vitas Blakaitis was second, Stefan Solvi peterson third, and Bill Kazmaier standing by with Derek. Derek, how sweet is that with a back that was broken not too long ago? It feels good. The, uh, the last one, it's all about balance. There's some really big pressers here. I have a little bit more back flexibility. I was able to get it in place. And it was all just sort of controlling it. You know, you can't press too hard because it'll throw you back. So it was perfect. I'm very happy with that. Will you qualify for the final with that event? Uh, are you going to do some damage when you get there? Absolutely. Every, every year, you know, this is, this is what it's all about, you know? Great lift. Fantastic smile. Keep it up. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So Poundstone qualifies for the final. That leaves four guys battling for the other position. And it's a simple scenario. The athlete who puts up the top score among them in the Atlas Stones will advance to the final. Ready? So here we go. First stone weighing in at 265 pounds. No problem for either man. Remember, Stefan Sylvie Peterson has been here before. This is the first time for Jack McIntosh, Bill, and he's starting to fall behind. Yeah, but he's doing a really great job. This is a tough event. And it all comes down to the fifth one here. And at 395 pounds, it's Stefan Solby Peterson who places it first. McIntosh really wants to do the same, if for no other reason than pride here on the big stage, world's strongest man. Yeah! Well, that time for Stefan Solby Peterson really putting the pressure on the last two. And for Jack McIntosh, a successful rookie season, but he will not be advancing. McIntosh had plenty of time to do a second attempt on that fist stone, but at 395 pounds, it was just too much for him. Peterson, on the other hand, he'll use it as a good tune-up for the final, if he makes it. So now the last heat, Shistov Radzikowski of Poland. Radzikowski. He'll be going head-to-head -head with Vitas Blakaitis of Lithuania. Now for both these men, the only Lukaitis. mark that counts is five stones in under 29.72 seconds. That's the time just put up by Stefan Solvi Peterson. I think uh, Stefan's probably saying a quick Icelandic prayer to the power gods here. Ready? So who will be joining Derek Poundstone in the final? 
Lakaita is such a short guy, it's great to see him have no trouble with that first super tall barrel. I've seen him put that stone up with his chin in years past. Third stone, 310 pounds. Mark to beat, 29.72 seconds. If they can't do it, Stefan Solvi Peterson's going to the final. And the clock is winding out here. He's done it. Stefan Solvi Peterson is moving on. man having success at 395 pounds. Meanwhile, Stefan Solvi Peterson celebrates that he's moving on. An awesome group of competitors, but the fifth stone proving too much for all but two men, our two finalists. Stefan Solvi Peterson getting a congratulatory kiss from his girlfriend. Meanwhile, Venus Plakaitis four stones in 27.80 seconds, not good enough to move on. Well, it certainly was gut check time for Stefan Solvi Peterson as he comes through in a huge way. The Icelander wins the Atlas Stones with five stones in 29.72 seconds. American Pound Stone was the only other man to complete the entire course. And for Radzikowski, very difficult experience for him. Four stones, 27.38. He is also eliminated. Derek Poundstone wins the group and earns a place in the World's Strongest Man Final. Peterson, who emerged from our four-way brawl to secure second place, will join him. 825 pounds in hand. They'll go down, turn around, and bring it back. Big Terry is smoking it. Jenkins right behind him. Whoa, Jenkins is so aggressive. Wastes no time there on the transition. Holland's struggling just a bit, and Mike Jenkins is going to take this first heat. The American rookie with a tremendous performance. In lane number two, Stefan Solvi Peterson also crossing the line. This is really showing you how difficult this event is. The giant from Iceland barely able to get off the start line. Terry Hollins struggling to complete the course. Veteran strongman just shredding his hand. So heat number one comes to a conclusion. Mike Jenkins, the leader, 18.10 seconds. Tremendous performance. But Hafthor Bjornsson, Phil, you touched on it, very disappointed. This is such a heavy weight. Really takes an iron grip. You've got to be able to nearly squeeze dents in those handles to carry this thing, Todd. Good performance by Stefan Solvi Peterson. Terry Hollins, not as much. And Jenkins, just a beast here. Now it's on to heat number two. That's Vitotas Lalas of Lithuania, the 29-year-old actually living in Dublin, Ireland, making his first appearance in the final. Derek Poundstone, second place in 2008, is a regular in the final, a policeman from the great state of Connecticut. Lawrence Chalet of England, this is his second final. With the form he's shown, the 28-year-old clearly is a guy who could end up on the podium. Brian Shaw of Colorado, a runner-up a year ago, he has devoted the last year to this very moment. And finally, the two-time defending champion, Zadrunas Savickas, the 36-year-old from Lithuania. All of these guys having a fantastic chance in this event. Take your grip! Right. So it's 825 pounds down. Turn around and bring it back. The time to beat put up by American Mike Jenkins, 18.10 seconds. And the two-time defending champion, Savickas, drops there in the blue. Shaw, Poundstone, and Chalet all at the critical halfway point. Chalet blasting off already. And Lawrence Chalet out and running, and it will be Lawrence Chalet who wins heat two. He will slide into second place overall. And Brian Shaw really struggling here. He stops the clock at 27.13. The big surprise, though, Phil, has got to be Sadrunas Savickas. Poundstone as well. Poundstone stuck back at the turn. Lawless has managed to get on the final leg. Zadrunas losing some valuable time there. Derek Poundstone has had enough. Lawless and Poundstone both shredding their hands on this event. So a second place performance for Lawrence Shelley. His time, 18.72 seconds for the two-time defending champion. Phil, you said it, a hand-shredding event for him. And for Derek Poundstone, eighth place again, doing some damage to his hand. 
Also not having the best showing was Vitotas Lala. Seventh place gets credited with distance, 26.37 meters. Brian Shaw, fourth place in the first event, his time 27.13. And what a nasty event it was for the majority of our guys. However, England's Lawrence Chalet choked his grip up. It worked well for him. He blasted into second place. Our winner is down with Kaz. Mike, first event, world's strongest man. You took down some big names. How do you feel about that? You know, it's definitely a confidence booster, but, you know, five events and it's the top, other top nine guys in the world, so anything can happen. Just got to be mistake-free from here on out. But you look great. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mike Jenkins wins the steel frame, carrying a time of 18.10 seconds, and in the process earns 10 points for his overall total. Lawrence Chalet was second, Stefan Solby Peterson was third. The co-favorites to win the title, Brian Shaw and Zadrina Savickas, finished in fourth and fifth, respectively.